Hello, my dear ones. It's always extreme pleasure to come to you. I've been detoxing myself. I've been probably a month now on uh, watermelons and uh, navel orange juice. So I've been kicking my my stuff out, just like you guys, you know. So it's haven't been doing videos. I've been so busy doing so many other things. I finally got all your school eyes done. I think I've got maybe two more that creeped in, but I'll have those all done. But I just wanted to talk with um, with my friends today for a little bit. I'm going to go over uh, some of your questions here, uh, as much time as I have. But I have the rest of the week to come and do this, and I've got some stacks I have to address. I uh, apologize. Tough. But I wanted to talk to you just in general about things. And I, 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 there, there's some of you are really working hard to get your wellness, and you can't feel bad about that. Everything is causative and cause and effect driven, karma driven. So you never know why you are involved in the symptoms and the, and the situations you're in. But you have to realize that the Creator makes everything turn like the wheels of a clock. And that everything you're experiencing is essential. Whether it's something you're paying back or something that you have to go through to enhance or to let you let go. Sometimes God will shake the tree so the fruit falls off, so to speak. So if you hold on to things too tight and, you're, and you want to develop yourself spiritually, it'll rip it away from you. So the, and I was talking to you, uh, a great soul in uh, Hong Kong. And he's, he's just really growing spiritually and letting go. And as he get, lets go more and more and he gets more raw, he's becoming more naturally detached about things. And this is uh, part and parcel for as you go down the road. You cease to care about this level anymore because it is so uh, finite, so chemical that it's tough here. And this is like a place where all the souls that, that create karma that's a little more on that negative pole, has to, you have to have some places to work all this stuff off. And all it is, is, a, is and there's, it's not a growth because there's no growing to consciousness in, in a sense, or maybe there is. But they're, they're, uh, I don't want to use the word expanding because I, I think that's exactly how God is expanding itself. It individualizes itself, it trains itself to become more responsible and to take self-discipline and to, to be the dreamer in and of itself. So each individual aspect of itself becomes a God unto itself. And you start seeing how all this is tied together. But it's enough to say, relax. Some of you have got some hard work ahead of you. That's all I can tell you. There's, and don't be pulled away because there's plenty of side roads that lead to nowhere. And it's okay that you go down them. Don't go too far down them. When you see that you're trying something different and it's not working, get away quicker. Because some things out there can make you a lot worse. I, I know there's one, somebody out there recommending, in our field, recommending cottage cheese. Don't ever recommend cottage cheese. The individual biochemist that made that up, what was it, Russian or whatever the name was, uh, Bogovich or whatever, that's totally wrong. You never, anybody with a tumor out there or cancer and you eat cottage cheese, you're going to get yourself in serious trouble. I've seen this year in and year out and it's just there's some things you just can't do to deal with this. And somebody was asking me about glandular, somebody here and... Uh, I guess we can do this on the YouTube and ask you about the protein and granulars. And this has this, this been a concern of mine too. But I think we're at so minute amounts, to be honest with you. And it's so radioactive in terms of enhancing the function of endocrine glands that there's, there's no blowback on that. It's just, matter of fact, because it, of its powerful enhancement of the endocrine glands, um, you don't have any side effect from that. Matter of fact, it, it helps to get you to Wellville because I've used them now for a number of years. I've used them back in the early 70s. Uh, there was Nutridyne and Standard Process were the two main glandular companies. I think Nutridyne now is, uh, oh, it might be Atrium. Uh, I know that 
uh, one of the biochemists with Lee, which is standard process, broke off and created the enzyme process, which we used for a while, which seemed to be much more powerful than uh, Lee's uh, standard process. Now, it's just, if they're, not, if they're not New Zealanders, we don't like to really use anything. We do have parathyroid problems in getting them from New Zealand because they just haven't got them. We've asked them to try to, to produce those. But in the, in, the, in, the, in the real world of health, now when I started out, I got six more years and I'll be in this field 50 years. And uh, whew, let me tell you, it's, uh, it, it's just, there's been a million up and downs, uh, a, a learning curve that's a mile long here, guys. And I, I you know, you, when you don't have anyone around uh, with, that that's, knows more than you in terms of raw and fasting, it's tough to, to, to learn except through a hard knocks, you know. And so this, this planet is definitely a hard knock planet in terms of learning experiences. But that's, that's just the way it is. Now, we need to cut through all this mental intellectualism, this elitism, and all this type of stuff that's got us into this level of trouble. And I find it interesting that now the flip cell phones are coming back now. They want more simplicity. And I think you're going to see a lot more of that. When you reach a peak of intellectualism, where there's a refinement of materiality, but a lack of spirituality, that's what you see on this planet. The killing of innocent people for no reason. Uh, this this idea that other people are better than other people, or my God's better than your God. You know how antiquated and dark agey that is? I mean, man has to at this level, but then there's going to be a long time working out all this because there's still a ton of violence that is constantly going to have its, uh, its uh, karmatic blowbacks. So a lot of souls are going to be coming here on and on again. But as if we can lift this up to another level, these souls will be able to run their karma off quicker and get through these things quicker and then, you know, make for a better expression in the whole world. Because anything that goes on in one area is effectual to all of creation, like throwing a rock in an ocean or throwing more water in the, in the ocean. You raise the whole ocean. Yeah. kind of been detoxing my butt up and so I was going to try to do the tweak for you the twerk the tweak I don't know what they call it but you lady who did those videos of the Christmas people twerking I tell you, I don't think I stopped laughing since <laughs> you are something else I tell you that that lady is something else that is so creative I can't even get it. all these little videos you've done like that it is so funny you are an incredible woman do, do appreciate that. That was, that was really cool stuff. Really funny stuff. Good stuff. I, was, uh, I thought you guys might be interested in this information. I was watching the History Channel the other night, and they had the story of Charles Goodyear. And I did not know this. And Charles Goodyear was trying to patent the rubber, right? The tar. And, but he couldn't get his substance hard. It was too rubbery. It was too flexible. Was, he couldn't, couldn't get it hard, so he couldn't get any donors. He couldn't get any investors to come in and help him. You know what he did? How did he eventually, what did he find that finally took that too flexible of substance that he had and turned it into hard rubber? Does anybody know that answer? I never heard this. Sulfa drugs. Sulfur drugs, sulfur compounds. He used sulfur and sulfur compounds, and it hardened it like a rock. So all of you guys with all the orange sulfur in your eyes, when I said years ago that that's super glue, that's just what it is. And that's why, don't get upset. The medical doctors did it to you. They used the same substance to make antibiotics out, antibiotics out of that, this, that Charles Goodyear hardened his rubber with. It is sickening when you think about this, that they've been pouring sulfur into humans for years, and what it's done, and this insanity of killing bacteria in the human body, what it's done to people. You never kill bacteria in your septic tank. We've talked about this extensively. And think about it. 
I would love to experiment and show you guys what it would be like if we all went and took antibiotics and poured it in all the septic tanks of all the medical doctors' houses. Of course, they sure none of them have septic tanks, but it would be cool if they did. And kill their bacteria and show them exactly what's going to happen in the human body when you kill bacteria in their sewer system. And this is a sad thing. The focus has been all wrong and on the wrong problems. You have to focus on your lymphatic system. You have to focus on your sewer system. And you have to learn all you can about it. And there's not, not a, lot, a lot of information out there. I know there was a guy in South Africa, and what is it, the Clarity, Clarity University? Where they, they think very similar than we do in terms of the lymphatic system and how it works, how it discharges through the kidneys and stuff. So there's a lot of ignorance in the AMA, and people have to wake up to this. You, everybody's been putting their lives in, in a modality that is the top killing machine of all modalities. Using toxic chemicals, sulfur drugs, uh, it just goes on and on and on. It is so out of control, so bad, so evil, that the average person has it, just it's gotten numb to that. The slaughtering of our children. That the government ability to take our children, a state ability to take a man's child, a woman's child, and then do whatever they want to it, fill them full of poisons and acids, you know we're out of control. And those people that are involved with this, bad karma. I don't care, that's what you're creating as a soul, but be aware of it. And don't bitch when you have to pay it back, because you're going to go through what you do to others. That's, that's, that's the universal law that everyone that's spiritual understands. You don't get away with nothing, honey. Nothing. It's, it's much better just to let go. Open your heart. And for some of you struggling here, open your hearts. Open your life. Check your attitudes at the door. Let it all go. Get out of your minds. Get out of your emotions. And open your heart. Bring that love forth. You no longer need anything when you realize you're all you need. Materiality is just to make you comfortable that the true essence, the true awareness or consciousness that is you, that is the experiencer of life, is key to your survival beyond this realm. Because one day, even you 15-year-olds, 30-year-olds, will be checking out of here. It's so much better to know where you're going to go and travel and learn how to get yourself at higher levels, if we can talk that way in terms of creation, instead of coming back to the planet. This is not a place to reincarnate back to if you like peace, joy, love, and God. This is a hellhole. And it's meant to be. So it's why we need all of you beautiful souls out there helping others. The kickback and what we're seeing out there and the beauty that you guys have done in helping others get their wellness, it's just extremely inspirational. Extremely. Now we're opening up a site on our club's website where you can feed testimonials into that. We, as we said before, we haven't done that because of the FDA. The FDA has shut a lot of people down for using testimonials. And of course, if they do it to us, they're going to regret every minute of it. Because this time, the lawsuits are going to be huge. This is not going to go away. This is going to be like a huge thorn in a bunch of butts because you no longer can allow a, 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 a federal organization like this to allow chemicals that cause fatal events at the level we're having them. It's, it's, un, it's, it's not even good. I mean, this is, this is out of control. These boys are out of control. They've muscled up, and they're just, they're, 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 they don't realize they become soldiers for the negative forces. They don't realize what they're doing. They're helping to promote death and murder of the homo sapien race. They're not consumer protection agencies by far. Whistleblowers from the FDA have come forward and said that many, many times. When is man going to stand up and stop this crap? You know, only, only we can stop our governments. Only we. When they get out of control. we got one in America now out of control. And the voters voted. And you're going to see some massive changes coming. So that's good. But this level is never to be the heaven 
that people think it to be, you have so many levels that are already heavens that are unreal. They're so incredible. There's no words. They're so nirvanic. They're so full of ecstasy and joy and love. The, 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 the spiritual cities of jewels and lights of, of every color. You've never seen colors like these before. I mean, it's unbelievable. Unbelievable. But while you have a human body, relax. Start taking life and enjoyment now because there's too much radicalness out there. Protect yourselves. Protect yourselves from entities of non-embodied beings and embodied beings. Because there's all levels out there, guys. Don't shut yourself off to that. Right now, the reptilian race is gaining control. It's all over the place. And it's not just me. There's, there's tons of people talking about it everywhere, seeing them everywhere. Shapeshifters, people, entities that can have a, a, a frequency shifts. I mean, this is scary times. There's a lot going on at this level. There's a lot of races here. And you just things, you just, you know, I had a friend, not a body traveler. And she was up in Maine. She drove way up to visit a friend of hers out in the woods. She saw this huge bright light coming out of the sky and landing in a field. And she, she couldn't see it well, but she drove up to her friends and visited. On her way back, she saw two men walking in suits down the road in the dark. You know, there's all kinds of things going on here. So the, the, the real issue is strength. Strength. Because remember, at this level, weaknesses are terminated. This is why genetic weaknesses are so scary. And this is why you see the lymphatic system around these, these lacunas in your eyes. Because they're there to shut off that, that weakness, to close it off and kill it. But that, that's how nature works. Nature, we're actually bucking nature right now because nature wants to terminate all these weaknesses. And, the, and, and, and that means the individuals, the bodies. So we're coming around and saying we can circumvent that when we strengthen. But to strengthen, you have to realize something that the AMAs never realized, which is, which is mind-blowing. That we live steeped in a world of pure chemistry. There's no voids. As far as we know, you know, the black hole syndrome and stuff that we know, there's no voids. Remember, that was the scare about atom busting, you know. Yeah, creating uh, uh, a void and then having an implosion. So, we're, our universes are full chemically. And so, everything that you eat, everything you breathe, everything you drink, Everything you smell is chemistry. If you smell the molecules of something cooking, you're breathing it, you're eating it. It says it's just hard to explain, but we are living and breathing and swimming in a world of chemistry. And some of it is good, and some of it is not so good. Most of the not so good, of course, is man-made. All right? But... You have to understand the human species and, and the design of the human species and, the, and the, the, the teeth and the hands and the digestive organs and the length of the organs. It just goes on and on and on to understand the species and why. Why would a fruit, berry, and melon diet turn the human around, no matter where you live, from a very ill, sickly, dying person into a robust, healthy person? And it's simple. It's because we're frugivores. I'm not the only one that's claimed that. There's been many books written by incredible spiritual men. Uh, medical doctors have written, uh, spiritual medical doctors have written about the frugivore of man. Uh, Carrington wrote a great deal about the, the frugivore. Uh, so there's a lot about the frugivore male. But this is, this is, this is what we are. This is how we're designed. So it's no, it's no happenstance that by eating the foods your body is designed to eat that you get better. I mean, there's no, it's a no-brainer. And the chemistry of the fruits and the berries and the melons, particularly the fruits and the berries, raised properly, picked right, matches the blood chemistry very nicely. You know, the problem is antagonistic chemistry, and that's what we're looking at. We're either playing too alkaline or mostly too acidic. So as we eat these foods that are predominantly acid-forming, don't bitch if you start to feel pain and swelling, you lose your kidneys, you lose your lower back, you start uh, deteriorating, that's what acids do. 
Matter of fact, this gentleman from Hong Kong was telling me he could feel his internal organs burning up at one time until he went total raw. And when he went total raw and he started herbs and all that, all this, all this heat and burning came out. He just walked out in the sun and just devastated him. Just, just devastated He was burning inside out. And that's what all of us are. We're burning inside out, interstitially around the cell. We're burning and burning and burning. We use the word inflammation for that syndrome. And then when it becomes in the cell intracellularly, now we use the word atypical or cancer because now we're truly mutating the cell. So we have to understand chemistry is simple. Chemistry only has two sides to it. You don't have to go anywhere to understand that. It's factual. One side's acid, one side's base. The acids are simply corrosive. They will tear you down. But there are beneficial acids. As they're beneficial, I got, but you get each end of the spectrum. You know, does anybody know what the hottest pH acid is? Minus 30. We were looking at that, up playing with that the other day. One drop will kill a human, and the, and the fumes will kill a whole room full of people. So this is dangerous stuff. And I forget how many millions, uh, billions times hotter than that is of hydrochloric acid. Because it's logarithms, you know, 10 by 10 by 10 by 10. So it's, uh, you know, this, this, this is a serious issue that man faces. And some of you face serious issues. And we know that. And there's no time to play. So get your eyes. There's, there's your gauge. The fact that we have a map to use. I don't care what other people think. The fact that we've got a map and we can prove that map and we've done it for years. We've showed you befores and afters. Wasn't that cool? Was that interesting that that couple was in here, been on fruits for two or three years. I've known them for years, been clients of mine for years, but he's went now finally, on, and she's had to, on a, on a, uh, a three-year fruititarian diet. And look at how rapid his eyes and her eyes have changed. It's amazing. It's amazing. That, that, that's, that, that's amazing. Uh, but it, it's factual, and it's what you what you want to see. And when you learn about your eye, that's what that's your roadmap. That's your human body, not you. That's your human body. So you look at that. You see your limb system. You see where your weaknesses are. You dress your weaknesses with herbs. You clean the body out with fruits, berries, and melons. If you want to build yourself up and use green drinks, okay. But clean yourself first. Clean yourself first, because. You, you, you've got to get to those deeper levels to get your true remedy. Some of you guys have to go deep in there. Those that are neurological cases, you've got to do the fruits and the berries. Forget the vegetables. I, I, I can't even tell you. So you got to stay in those levels, and then you'll get your nerve regeneration, which is cool as all get out, to start to see some of those of you that are crippled up regain your vitality. And don't stop. Make it a part of your essence, a part of your beingness. Because you don't want to go back. You can go back. But don't go back too far. Because you want to make this a new adventure, a new world of yours. This is a new life. You just open the door to the light of God and to the light of love. Don't go back. Stay and play. <laughs> Stay and play with us. And get your health back. You know, we don't know it all. And there is ups and downs. You know, when you're putting mucus-forming foods in your body and you fill yourself full of mucus, it's what I'm dealing with. I still have mucus still left in me, I'm sure, from when I was a kid. You know, I didn't have the herbs to dig deeper. And then through the years, you know, you get busy, you do this and you do that. And you, you just you let yourself go sometimes, and I've done that. But that makes you be able to speak from it too, you know. Perfectionists are hard to deal with because they... They think everybody should be perfectionist, and that's not their world at all. And it's not meant to be, because everything's meant to experience. All this is experience to God, because there is nothing else. It has to experience itself. How, 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 how does it get to know itself? You know, it's amazing when you look at this and the beauty of all this. And I love you guys. You're all so good, and you've done so well. And some of you struggle. Some of you strayed away and come back. You, know, you have to be real careful, but you know there's nothing wrong with going out and trying other things. If you think that this you've reached a plateau here and you can't get better, go try try other things. 
But if you truly reach the plateau, you're not doing the, you're not, you've got to get up into more fruit fast and things like this. And believe me, I put a ton of people on 40 day fruit fast, you know, as you have to, you have to sometimes to save people because you've got miles of interstitial spaces around a hundred trillion cells. You've got to get that hydrated and filtering all through the kidneys and it all is compounded. So before the head can break, you've got to start breaking loose the bottom. And for those of you that are in the sulfurs, have the orange in your eye, I feel so sorry for you guys because they got you good. And that's a serious problem. You'll always, until you get it out, always have GI tract problems at one level or another. You have a, a solidified glue that locks in your lymph system in your bowel, so the absorption factor is nil next to none. You're promoting heavy fungal problems in these people. I, I just look at that and think how antiquated and dark agey that man is in that thinking area. You know, do we have to lift this planet up a little bit? Because it's not just the planet, it affects the whole universe. You know, from the mind down. You you very much affect the whole all of the universal mind as you do the emotional body, as you do the physical body. You as a soul have all these different bodies that when your mind affects the mind, your emotions affect the emotional body, the astral body. So when you're feeling emotional, you're not feeling your physical body, you're feeling your astral body. When you're using your thoughts and you're using thinking processes, you're using your causal body. You're not using your human mind. That's only the, the, the synapsis that reflects the visions. The consciousness is what registers. The consciousness is the awareness behind all things. Everything else is just material structures. But what's the awareness behind the material structure or the emotional structure or the mind? Who's the intelligence that runs the mind? And that's you. That's you. And that you is what I'm trying to get you to. Because you get to the conscious to consciousness, you, you you've done it. You've done it. You made it home. Okay. That important question for Dr. Morris concerning granulars. Oh, this is the one. Can I read this on YouTube? Uh, I remembered the other day that I've read many uh, times that MS is caused in large part by consuming foods like dairy, which have proteins slash structures similar to those of humans. And then when they are consumed, if the person consuming them has a leaky gut and they leak into the body through the gut, and this creates an inflammatory response as the body detects that these protein cells shouldn't be there, and so the body attacks them. The issue in these cells, proteins look very similar to human cells' proteins, and so the body learns to attack itself at the same time. You know, no offense, Khalid, but totally disagree with you. I totally disagree with that statement. Totally disagree with that. You know, Leaky gut, interesting concept. You don't leak nutrients into the blood. If anything, people are so impacted, they lack the ability to do that. It's opposite. The other thing, that's not what MS is all about. Holy crap. Oh, that's much worse. This is, this is, that has nothing to do with that. Uh, all things have amino acids. The, the structures that the amino acids takes determines the compatibility to the species that consumes it. So when you take a look at dairy products, we use a, a herbivore milk, first of all, who is generally about, what, 1,500 pounds, somewhere in that range, maybe up to 2,000 pounds, almost a ton. So you've got these big milk cows, and their protein structures are heavy, heavy calcium, heavy, heavy proteins in these milks. But how fast does a baby calf grow? Hundreds of pounds in a year, hundreds of pounds in a year. How fast does our babies grow? too concentrated. This idea that more is better is, is insane. The body won't accept more is better. So it's about the it's about the type of protein and the concentrated protein. But it, it, it has nothing to do about leaking in and the body attacks it and bullshit like that. It has nothing to do with that. MS is a serious neurological condition. And it's all from acidosis, no question. 
but don't you know it, these type of proteins do a couple of things to the body they fill the body full of mucus because your immune your lymphatic system has an immediate response to to these proteins and so all you have to do is start to get milk close to you and your your body already signals mucosic responses so now you get mucus from it so when you have a cold and flu what comes out the same mucus that was produced when you drink these things and this is why Iron Air spent a lot of time trying to explain to the public the difference between mucus forming foods you know so this is real important because the first thing you see when you detox is what mucus you see the clear then the yellow which is subacute and then you see the greens and the browns and then if you're real bad you get the blacks and this is really necrotic nasty smelling nasty stuff anybody ever smell a tumor that's your sewer system nasty nasty and necrotic that's nasty inside of you and these are proteins acids and acids are everywhere proteins are everywhere they're in everything they're just certain foods that are not designed for the human structure and your body has an immediate response with these types of foods and the mucus is one of the responses because that is how the body protects itself from these proteins the proteins that hurt MS and people like that are from the cells these are cellular proteins cellular acids however the dietary acids destroy the bowels and the kidneys, the eliminative organs. That then sets a chain reaction up of the whole system's backing up, digestively and absorptively and neutrally the way, and also eliminative way in terms of the kidneys and the elimination of cellular acids. No, no, brain lesions aren't caused from dairy proteins. They're caused, that's the mucus. Now, all that will build up, and of course, being acidic break gas, yes, will break down the central nervous system, no question. But you also have to understand that your body's constantly producing acid byproducts and waste from metabolism, respiration, and the like at nano level, at every level. If you do not eliminate these wastes properly, these acids, they back up. And this is called inflammation, better known as acidosis. And that's where all the pain, the swelling comes from. That's where the cholesterol, that's where all these calciums are pulled. All this will make sense to you when you understand the two sides of chemistry. Very important to review the video on the lymphatic system. And I'm sure they're going to find more lymphatic systems as they go on, tying more to the kidneys and the elimination of, the, of acids of the human body. Essential central and that's what man hasn't been doing he's been eating the wrong food which has literally broke down his bowels and kidneys take a look those of you that have been in the field a long time like myself we know about the bowels and the colon this is well established a hundred years ago that we have that we have serious colon problems and that of course colon cancer was number one for generations you don't d dump dead animal tissue and, and, and dead milks into the human body but we do something that's far worse with these foods. We pasteurize them. We cook them. And now we ultra pasteurize. Man is so scared of his own conscience. It's amazing. So scared of bacterium. It's just, it, it's, it's, it, it, this planet is just, I don't know what to say about it. So you have to realize that it's a type of food you're eating. And you can say, well, my parents ate them, everybody ate Yeah. And look at the condition of the human being. But look at what happens when you change your diet and you go back to a raw food diet like you should be. And also you go back to the type of food your body designed to. Look at the difference between the health of the older islanders and the older northerners. A study unto itself amazingly different. I've talked about this many times, the longevity and the beauty and the health of these islanders as opposed to those that live in the northern climates, eating the, the meats and the dairies. But ultra-pasteurization takes dairy products close to plastic. So when you drink a glass of milk, you're drinking a glass of plastic. And notice the last study said that the more milk you drink, the more prone to fractures because you bonded this chemistry so acidically that it leaches calcium. Whenever you eat acid-forming foods, plan to lose calcium because you're now in a phosphorus nitrogen-rich food, which is antagonistic to your electrolytes and your calciums. 
uh, and that's not fruits, berries, and melons and vegetables. They're more electrolyte rich and low on the nitrogen and, and phosphorus. That's more suited to our blood. When you dump these, this swappy job chemistry of high acids into the blood, you're lucky you don't die from it. Because in three minutes you can, but the body can steal. The body can steal. And thank God there is some other nutrients in people's meals. <laughs> some people don't get any greens in their meals. But take a look at the world. And take a look at how sick people are. And if you've never done that, start looking. Now you can't believe the level of, of problems that man is in. And it, it's you guys that are going to fix them. It's all of you beautiful souls. We're going to fix them. And we're here to do that. And hell or high water, you know, whatever we can do to uplift the human consciousness so man can have a better way here and play a little better, maybe. But you're always going to have duality, ups and downs. Basically, this is a good opportunity to free yourself, to be honest with you. Cut right to the chase. Get yourself free on all levels. My question is, if glanders are also derived from bovine sources, will there be a risk of creating a similar scenario? Well, again, I disagree with the scenario, my friend. Just saying. Uh, I've done uh, MS uh, almost 50 years now, and I'm very aware of what causes it. Uh, I'm not sure if my leaky gut is healed or so. If the glandular substances were sort of leaking into my body, no, you can forget everything you're saying there, Cleve. Uh, absolutely no. Absolutely not. These glandulars are... And what's interesting, I was watching this... Uh, Life below zero. And they've got this survivalist dude, very spiritual, building a sweat lodge. But he's a, he's a hunter, hunter-gatherer. And uh, he, he killed two ducks last night. And I guess that was last week. Or, no, it was last night. He killed two ducks, and he's pulling out the, the heart and everything, you know. And he said, they say that if you eat the heart, your heart gets stronger. Interesting, you know, all these little tales that you hear like that. But there's a reason for that thinking. Normally, it wouldn't be a way for a fruitarian to act, but we are healers. We're not just, uh, you know, spiritual beings out playing in the world. We're healers. We are here for a specific mission to help uplift the rest of life here, and um, that's a little different. And so you get whatever tools you can, the least toxic you can, to help someone through some of these advanced stages, because you have some serious advanced stages. Some of you don't get to see all that, but we do, and it's uh, tear-jerking, tear-jerking. Can't believe this level got so low. Uh, let me see here. Hi, my name is uh, Chris. I had emailed you a week ago about career information or so. I didn't know, Chris, uh, whether you wanted to work here or whether you were thinking about career opportunities. All I can say is that I believe that, again, man likes to, to tarnish things. And I feel that naturopathy has been tarnished bad with the medical community dubbing it naturopathic medicine and all this crap like that, the egos and all this stuff. No, 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 no. Maybe someday I'll pull with a bunch of you and we'll start our own naturopathic college and show them what true naturopathy is truly about. But till then, I would say get an herbal degree. Uh, and that's the future, botanicals. And if we, we scrape this planet off of all the botanicals, man is uh, done. Because there's no other, between the foods and the, and the herbs, that's all our remedies. And it's just, uh, we can't allow that to happen. Yeah, let's see here. Uh, okay, look, I think I can do this one. On, these are from our personal emails here. So I, 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 this one says I can. Uh, and this person has a client. So he's an, a healer, uh, in, or Joan. Yeah, Joan. She's got a client here uh, waiting for lab results back. And now she wanted to see what sorts of detox protocols that I'd recommend for things like gonorrhea, um, uh, syphilis, uh, chlamydia, stuff like that. You know, um, UTIs. Oh, oh, no, no, here's what she was saying. I'm curious to hear what I think about that, including syphilis. At the same time, the client said to take, was told to take Cipro because it covers the whole gamut, UTIs, chlamydia, gonorrhea, but I know that's a brutal, that's not only a brutal option, you're taking your life in your own hands. 
you know, I, and this is another one. FDA, you know, how are you going to explain allowing the use of, of plenty of antibiotics? How can you explain the use of, um, of um, <sighs> Cipro? Cipro is well known to cause strokes, heart attacks, and death. I had a client through three blood clots and a heart attack from the use of Cipro. And I just, and it's commonly given out. This, this is it's regurgitating, guys, what's going on out there. Man's gotten numb to what the AMA's been doing. But these are the power people. Remember Rockefellers, the World Bankers, or whole World Health Organization? Although the AMA in America is even going beyond the World Health Organization because they're still using the Rumidex and other estrogen suppressors, which is considered carcinogens. So how bad is it when a, a health modality that sets itself up as the only best thing in town, that it's the only thing in town, it kills millions each year worldwide, millions worldwide, hurts ten times that, if not a hundred times that, in terms of internally, in terms of pharmaceuticals and what they do to the human organs and glands. And then they still give you things that will kill you. I mean, I mean, this, you got to wake up to this. These guys have been getting away with serious stuff too long. For what reason? Oh, it cleared up the plague. It cleared up this. No, it didn't. I mean, really study vaccines and all that consciousness and really what has been taking place and what vaccines really has been doing to humans. This is sickening. Sickening. So there's just a huge, and look at the Ebola, a man-made virus. Now suddenly we have a vaccine for that. How interesting, huh? I mean, this is all about the money, guys. So these souls have to be, you know, dealt with somehow because it's, they're hurting all of life. And people that do that have to be stopped because you can't allow that to keep going on. These are lost beings stacking up their karmic things so tall they'll be spinning for a long, long time. They shouldn't be doing that to themselves. You should learn to know better. Because what you do to one, you do to all. You can't do that. You can't keep doing that, hurting people. So, I'll say this. Forget the uh, kryptonite and uh, head for the detox. Why would you? And remember, remember two things. The terrain, or what I prefer to call the culturing medium. They both apply. They're both the same thing. Meaning that those people that get it the worst have serious lymphatic problems. But, you know what? You've got plenty of antibiotics out there. You got, I mean, in terms of nature's antibiotics, you have detox, and you can detox this right out of you. I've, we detox herpes out of people all the time. I don't get too much gonorrhea or syphilis in here, to tell you the truth. I get HIV. I get a lot of that, of course. But I don't get, uh, I don't get an active case of that. They go to the AMA. They, get, they go to the ER. They get their, their antibiotics, and they're off. But, again, everything has a degree of involvement. When you start getting more involved, more involved with things like this, you know how bad your lymphatic systems are. And we're a hostess of the mostess. You know, it's it, with the same thing with H. pylori and everything else. you got to realize, you've created a medium of culturing. You have created a home. Get rid of the now home. Clean the nests out. Don't attack them. They're not the problem. You created the problem. And that's what you have to realize. Maybe unconsciously, but you created the problem. And I'm giving you the, the rules of uncreating the problem. And it's not difficult. And don't make it difficult, because if the mind catches in, you take off and go 20 bananas a day, give yourself uh, rectal insertions of coffee enemas, and now you tear down the rectum and get rectal bleeding and all kinds of problems. Yeah, real smart. So that's the sort of thing that's out there, though. And these are from fairly unconscious people who don't understand the, the total picture. You've got to look at the total picture and that, to, to understand. You have to understand the human body, simplistically how it works. If you keep it simple, you'll be able to get your remedy on both physical health, spiritual health, and God awareness. If you make it complicated, you'll be chasing rainbows forever. And there's no remedy for those that chase his rainbows because you are the rainbow. <laughs> you beautiful souls are the rainbow. 
Okay. That's what I do, honey. That's all I can do. Can't say in this world right now there's not a need for pharmaceuticals. I will tell you that. I'm down on them, but I'm down on the one that caused fatal events. I'm down on the sulfadol. I'm down on the very toxic substances that's killing man and hurting man. There are some pharmaceuticals that are essential, no question about it. But we have to be able to sift through this, change the consciousness of why we use pharmaceuticals and stat needs only, because there's plenty outside of that, and we get plenty of stat needs here. We have stat emergencies all around the world constantly, and we never use pharmaceuticals. Plenty of verbals to deal with all kinds of levels of emergencies. You get your arms cut off or something and a trauma, you're definitely not going to come to us. Okay. Oh, good. A 29-year-old woman. Now, okay. I can read this one, right? This is asthma, low stomach acid. Greetings from Austria. Greetings from Austria. You know, I had a friend in New York City who wanted to open up a healing center in, in Austria. So I think he went over and bought an old old logging camp or something, an old uh, logging place, and it was turning it into a healing center. He was going to buy a castle, uh, some castle there or something, and turn it into a healing center. So I don't know where he's promoted with that, but he was going to use this level of thinking. But I haven't heard from him in a lot of years, so I don't know. But that, was, that would be fun, you know, because you guys over there have springs and stuff, right? And so this would be good. 29-year-old lady from Austria. I began with raw food about one year ago because I wanted to cure my asthma. Right? First, I tried the 80-10-10 diet, but I could not digest that much fruit and mostly the bananas. Absolutely. They're hard. I mean, they're, 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 they're the meat. They're the meat of the fruit. And so they're, they're not that watery stuff. So they're hard. You know, me, one banana is all I can do. I'm, I'm good with that. I'm so used to watery fruits, I feel so much better. But I do love my bananas once in a while. Mixed bananas with strawberries, bananas and blueberries. <laughs> That's good. I was uh, bloated and gassy. No kidding. My belly hurt after eating. I had reflux. After I gained weight, I went back to the normal raw food diet with some fat and green juices. I drank a lot of green juices and ate a lot of salads. And after about 10 days, I had no more asthma symptom. Which is very good, absolutely. Before that, I took every day about three pills for, oh, that's sad, uh, and used a, an inhaler. Boy, yeah, I hate those inhalers, honey, because those things are cancer-causing. They're suppressants. And that's why I use the, our antispasmodic herbal formula, because what it does is it, it checks, you know, your gripping, your spasming, your, 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 your shutting off here. It relaxes this, but allows you to continue to expectorate mucus out of the interstitial levels of the lungs. And this is key, very key. And even when you start doing that, it can stress those lungs and bronchi. But you've got to pull this stuff out. But remember, there's a component to asthma that is not just mucus. The main component, component of asthma, the beginning of the COPD chain, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease chain, which is asthma, emphysema, and what they call full-blown COPD. Those are little oxygen carriers. Neurological, adrenal glands. Okay, now, uh, but afterwards I, I had my up and downs with the raw food. I had a lot of detox symptoms, which was fine, but I felt not good at all. I had not more energy from the raw food. That's too bad. Uh, nevertheless, I was bloated and gassy with the raw food diet. After eating and being in the bathroom, I could see what I ate. Most of the time, there was still a lot of indigestible food in my poop or stool. <coughs> Excuse me. Without me reading on, I can tell you immediately why that is. You know, it's, the problem isn't the raw foods, obviously, right, guys? The problem is with the what? Pancreas, because this is carbohydrates. And when you're not digesting carbohydrates and you're getting gassy, bloaty, you have low digestive enzymes. And that's, uh, you know, that's not good. You have to fix that. So there's a lot of ways to fix that easily enough, you know. But when you're in a detoxification scenario, to get to feel better, uh, you want to lose the lower form. I mean, you can do bananas once in a while, but to make that your detox focus is, is insane. I, I don't know why he would even think that. 
If you're eating it nutritively, okay, you know, in a sustainable type of situation, absolutely. But if you want to dig deep and detox, you want astringent fruits and berries and things like this. You'll detox better and deeper. Uh, minimally with bananas, the same thing with fruits. I mean, same thing with vegetables. And if you're having gassy problems with your with your fruit, and uh, uh, you're going to have worse with vegetables because they're harder to digest than even the fruit. So, but. That's another component here that might be going on with this person. Now, I'm read on, so I'm just telling you because there's a lot of people we can stop right here with. Sulfur. Sulfur. Fruit is astringent, right? So it starts to pull sulfur. And this is, we had another emergency the other night because the lady's been long-term digging out, digging deep, just like she should. But then when she stopped fasting, she couldn't eat anymore. High sulfur problems. And so we broke her into, you know, digesting and how you do it properly and how you break these things properly. If you're going to fast, you want to break them properly. Even when you do a mono diet for 40 days, that's, that's, pretty, that's pretty good. So you have to break it slowly before you hit the vegetable kingdom because they're just real hard to digest. And you definitely wouldn't have anything else for a, a week or so after that, especially anything cooked or anything that was more difficult to digest. So you got a fixed digestion here. So I decided to get off the birth control pill about five months ago. After that, my acne came back and I lost 70% of my hair. Look at that. Uh, I went to a lot of doctors, but they do not know why I am losing my hair. Nobody can help me. Nobody knows what is wrong with me. It's all acidosis, honey. It's all acidosis. But what's funny is, and what's interesting about estrogen, take a look at that, how much of a stimulant estrogen is. I mean, it is factors, same as testosterone. These are stimulants. These are acidic stimulants. And so you see what happens now uh, when you're off of that. But that's just showing you what's going on with your body. Honey, you got to pick a picture of your eyes and take a look at it. This is where you'll find your answers. Because I can't see how bad you are or what's going on lymphatically. I can't see your pancreas or anything else. But I can tell you symptomatically what's going on here. And so you can see the degree of that by getting a look at your eyes. And that's what you want to do. So now I am afraid to eat because I am not able to digest even mangoes. All right. I don't know if you were on digestive enzymes or anything like that before, but I can tell you what you got to do. You got to start digesting in your mouth. And this is the way I've done this for years. It's the only way you can do it. You're going to have to go real slow, relax, get that hill all tea, sip, just take a little spoonful, just slide it, just relax. Maybe take another spoonful. If you can drink a little bit, drink a little bit. Those that can handle a little bit, handle a little bit. Let the herbs start turning you on there. Get the pancreatic formula. I get the capsules. And I do two capsules three times a day. Start getting that pancreas turned on. If you need a pancreatic glandular to turn that baby on, I would add that to the mix too. Get that baby turned on again and start digesting your fruits. You're going to have to digest in your mouth, which has slimmer digestive enzymes as your pancreas. So digest here first. Make sure you chew super chew. And then you swallow slowly and you let that all digest. And then do another bite. You're going to have to go real slow to gain your health back. I'd say another thing is get a picture of rice and let's take a look at your gut and where you're at and what you got going. If you have high sulfur, you're going to have to get in that GI brew. You have to start pulling this stuff out. Super glues. Some of you guys have got some serious digestive problems here and uh, don't have babies. Because if you're, you remember I told you what happens uh, with babies now with these problems? They're using the knitting or whatever they call that where they tie the stomach around the esophagus so the baby can't throw up on their insane formulas. High fat, high protein formulas. Jesus Christ, when they talk about dark agey crap. So now I'm, okay. If I eat mangoes about five hours later, I go to the bathroom and my stool is yellow. It looks like mango. Well, you're just not digesting. And of course, the organ that digests your carbohydrates is your pancreas, honey. So I'm, I'm going to suggest you to go, again, real slow and do that. Use herbs to start turning everything on again. Uh, they, it doesn't matter. You want to use those herbs. And that, you're going to see the beauty of why I love herbs. Where foods can't do it, the herbs will. Let me see. Uh, I go to the... Let me see. Uh, and yes, it is the same mango which has gone through my gut. And it didn't change at all. 
If I eat salads, my stool is green and I can see what was in my salad. Yeah, particularly that one. And you can't go to the salads because you can't go to the greens because they're hard to digest, even harder. Now, you can do some green drinks and fruit juices where the pulp is broken down, but the fruit pulp is essential really to electrify the bowels. And so, easy to digest. And when you can't digest that, you're in trouble. My question is, did someone talk you into using digestive enzymes in the past? Because this is exactly what happens to people that use digestive enzymes. They wake up one day and they can't digest their foods anymore. So how smart was that for nature passing people like the Hippocrates to recommend digestive enzymes all over the place? These are immature people that don't know anything about health and how to get people well. They're just playing this game that, that Ann Wigmore set up and now they're adding a bunch of crap to the, to the menus. We've been through stuff like that. That's, 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 that's old. You know, you guys are on the cutting edge. You guys are on the top of the mountain. You know, and you just have to work through some of these things, but there's a way to work through it. Good. I will poo green too, so nothing will digest at all. The other problem is that no matter what I eat, I am gassy. Exactly. Now, again, look at that eye to make sure you have, uh, you don't have any sulfur, because you could have the combination of both. You could have sulfur and a weak pancreas, or sulfur could have got into the pancreas and shutting it down. Oh, I'm telling you, it's just a mess. And with this kind of problem, the suggestion is probably malabsorption on top of that. So you got some problems, sweetie, but you can work yourself out of it. I feel not comfortable in my skin. I can see why. And yes, I pay attention to food combining. No, nope, yep, yep, no. Nope. This wouldn't be. Yeah, that's a good one. I'm glad you made that statement because that is a problem for people. If you combine proteins and starches or you put fruits on top of anything else, you're going to get gas and fermentation and putrefaction. But I didn't take that for this. I, I took that for just what it is. You got a pancreatic problem here, and that's serious. You want to fix this right up because it affects the beta cells. You're going to see your uh, insulin problems. You're going to see, it. and then you got to look at your bicarbonate problems because the pancreas also produces bicarbonate. So that can be a serious problem in, in neutralizing hydrochloric acid and pepsin. So uh, uh, you know this could lead to a string of things, but you can fix this. You have to go slow a little bit, reintroduce food real slow, digest here first, so you can at least get that. At the same time, you want herbs for that pancreas, herbs for the GI tract, go after your kidneys, go after your adrenals simultaneously, who cares? Push these things through, get them through, let them have their actions, however slow at first, but they'll, they'll, they'll tear, they'll move, they'll grow, they'll, they'll increase. So just, just keep pounding them through. And because I cannot digest bananas and mangoes, fruits, I eat nuts. Oh, no. Uh, and avocados, I am still gassy. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know that to eat anymore. Well, I hope this helps you. The laboratory tested my stool and they said everything is fine. <laughs> Go to a medical doctor. They'll tell you what the problem is. <laughs> Jesus, criminy. Have no uh, candida or anything else. That's good. Uh, after eating, I am always gassy and bloating. Uh, this, this is the universal reason why, sweetheart. There's no other reason. I think I have low starch acid, so uh, maybe because of that, I have hair loss. No, no. The problem, I'll give you another look. The same reason your pancreas is down is probably why you're losing hair and why you're, why you're seeing this whole acidosis problem. Pick, and this is serious, as a female, 29 years old, losing hair like that, that's serious stuff. And this can affect your memory. This can affect all kinds of things here. you got to turn this around. First, I'd use upper circulation to get that blood moving more aggressively upstairs. At the same time, I'm going to start working on my gut because i got to drain this sinus and clean this all out. Have you ever had sinus problems? Things like that. You want to drain, ear candles, start opening up, getting everything open, mucus out, acids out, everything filtering. See what I'm saying? Enhance the function of cells. And those cells, that's what herbs are for. They enhance the function of or they're cleansers. Bottom line, when you take a look at them, some are tonic, some have a lot of actions, but the bottom line to herbs, they either strengthen or they super clean you. One of the two. Uh, let me see. Although I don't eat that much, just normal portions, they drink a lot of juices and green drinks. I am not losing any weight. I am not overweight, but I want to, uh, yeah, I, I, and you could be holding a lot of water, dear one. You could be holding a lot of water here. And so you have to look at that. Also, on the flip side here, taking birth control pills for that long uh, can suppress your adrenal glands. 
uh, and ovaries, of course, but adrenal glands in particular, in producing your estrogens. And so that's a little problematic. In suppressing the adrenal glands, of course, you suppress your kidneys. In suppressing your kidneys, then you suppress your lymphatic system. In suppressing your lymphatic system, then cellular waste has nowhere to go. Cellular waste being acids back up, and we use the word inflammation. Well, hair follicles and things like that don't like acids real well, and boom. Nobody likes acids well. Of course, people do drink a lot of Coca-Cola, Pepsi, and everything else, and that's the same acid to take it off your hair. Same acids. Ooh. Uh, let me see. I see that some people eat raw foods about four months and lose weight. Uh, I lose weight right off. I've lost 40 pounds in, what, two months? I think it is. But I've been, uh, you know, doing the fruit fasting more. Uh, but... Uh, you don't have to ask yourself what's wrong. There's nothing wrong with you, sweetheart. Don't take it personally. This is just your body. It's your genetics. And then everything that's been put in there. And, of course, you lived in your mom for about nine months, and so her lymph system is yours pretty much. So you really want to just take a look at that. You can clean all this up, back all this down. You'll be good. You'll get your life back here. But you're going to have to do a little extraordinary thing to get this digestion back online here. Same thing. It gets worse. It gets much worse, sweetheart. It gets to the point where you can't eat anything because your body won't tolerate it. You start throwing everything up. So you want to do this now. You want to go slow, but get that. I would get the pancreatic formula, capsules, and work with that. I also work on my kidneys, my adrenals, bring up my steroids, my neurotransmitters. I'm going to bring everything up. I'm going to start bringing my, the health of my cells up. Well, to bring the health of my cells up, i got to get rid of the sewage that's backing up in them or on them. So you just got to get those kidneys filtering, get yourself sweating and all this stuff. And sometimes we have to plow through and use formulas to help, to, to help us. Sometimes foods won't do it. And this is some of the problems out there. That is frustrating for a while. I can see why it's frustrating for you. And veggies and fruits are so much experiencing that in a... Let me see here. In Austria, it is cold and the veggies and fruits are so much expensive. Oh, I believe that. I believe that. For example, I pay for a mango about seven U.S. dollars. Holy crap! Well, you know what? That's horrible. I run, I spend around two hundred U.S. dollars for each uh, food each week. Oh, I do too. Easy, easy. I do. I spend two or three hundred dollars each week on fruit. Oh yeah. Mostly, I live in the produce section of my grocery store. Is, we have very few places to turn here. I had a, somebody told me there was a truck with a, a watermelons on two for eight bucks, big watermelons, and they didn't even let me know. So now I have people out looking for this guy. I spend, uh, okay, please help me. I'll be happy to help you, honey. You'll get your life back. I can tell you this, but you got to go slow here a little bit. I want you to digest in your mouth first. Pretend you're digesting your food right here first. Swallow and just just relax for a while. Let your body get used to that energy in the stomach and take care of it. Get it on down. You've already covered it with digestive enzymes, and then go ahead and then try another. If you have to, you can use papaya digestive enzymes. But I'm telling you, you have to be real careful. This is where people can get. They get it from lymphatic problems, and they get it then from using digestive enzymes because of the problem that 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 creates. And now that's creating more problems. The worst thing you can do is shut down your cells. You know, mostly we all have food pro fluid problems unless we have genetic weaknesses in cells. After a while, though, it becomes a cell problem. And when it becomes a cell problem from a lymphatic problem, that's cancer. That's serious. Or that's MS, or that's all the chronic and degenerative conditions. And that's because we are now breaking down the cell itself. And that is breaking down the human body itself. Outside of that, it's fluid, it's inflammation, it's acid chemistry, stuff like that that you're breaking down the consciousness of cells, that's not where you want to go because nature takes that seriously. It terminates weaknesses. And that's, that's the big fear here. That's why people are so ravaged with bacteria and things like this. And it's not there. It's not that. It's, it's nature. So the word of the day, clean and strengthen, clean and strengthen. It's the only thing that's common sense and is actual factual. But thanks. I'll be glad to help you, sweetheart. Love, love the comments and thank you so much. Is your microphone on mute? I hope not. I found you today. Hey, Jen. Yes. Is Drew in yet? Oh, he is. Yeah, you want me to send him in? Yeah, would you? Okay, sure. Thank you, honey. 
I found you today on the internet through Christina. Oh yeah. Uh, website and how eating fruits and veggies changed her eye color. Isn't that interesting? Uh, I have, <laughs> matter of fact, a couple of videos ago, we did show you that. Uh, I thought it was so interesting that that guy just happened to be in here the day that I read that request for that. I thought it was just so cool. That's how God works, man. I love that stuff. Staying away from the color white, red meat, <laughs> not eating processed foods, smart, smart individual here. Um, trying to eat as healthy as possible. I juice off and on, but now after listening to your videos, I am convinced that I need to be more faithful. Well, you feel better. Uh, I always feel tons better. You always feel better after you discharge. I want to make sure this is on because uh, we had to have um, should be turned on. And I uh, want uh, just say, if you are you busy out there? Go ahead, go ahead. No, no, no. You know what? I want to show this. I was going to show this. This lady wanted me to show her her and her mom's eyes to show you the genetic similarities. So I was going to show that, but I wanted to finish reading this real quick. Absolutely. Okay, just hang two mm -hmm. seconds. Okay. Uh, about 20 years, a, a doctor found that what illness was attributing to my symptoms. Dry mouth, dry eyes, I'll say no more. Dry mouth, dry eyes, dry skin, inflammation of the organs, etc. I suffered for two years. Doctor could not determine what was wrong with me. They said it was called, <laughs> should, <laughs> should go... I never can pronounce this right. Chagrin, chagrin syndrome. How do you? Let's take a look here. I get tongue twisted right there where your left thumb is. Your right thumb. I never can pronounce that properly. Oh. See what I'm saying? Yeah. Gotcha. All right. Children. I still Children. struggle. I, I know. This is the, yeah. Uh, there's some heart conditions, you know. All right. I still struggle with the dryness in the eyes and inflammation. I have done a few detox programs, but I cannot seem to get rid of the dryness of the eyes. I am having other things with my eyes, crusty eyes. The eye doctor says they are fine. He found a teeny cataract. No need to worry. Let's stop right there. Yeah. No need to worry. Let's just watch it. Let me show you a tumor. I wonder if I can show a tumor. I don't that her face is not there or anything, so I should be able to show a tumor without it. But let me show you a tumor that happened with a medical doctor that said, let's just watch it. Let's just watch it. I think I'll be safe with that. Hope I don't upset anybody. But uh We'll just watch it. We'll just watch it. No, there's nothing you can do. I mean, I don't believe in just watching it. I believe in fixing it. Why are you dry? Acidosis. And the problem is, it's all in your head. So this is serious. Because one day you're going to go, honey, where did I park my car? You rode with me. I mean, this is insane. And, of course, MACD, wrinkle retinas, urine line for all of these things. And, of course, behind that's the lymph system, so glaucoma. You know, a little tiny uh, a cataract, no big deal, all right? You know what a cataract is? It's cholesterol. You're so acidic that you're now plaquing cholesterol in your brain. So where does that lead? Strokes. Not to scare you, but these guys don't have a clue. If you listen to your medical doctors on health, they'll kill you. They do not know a thing about it. So you just got to put the power back in your own hands, man. I'm glad you wrote me this because you see how dry you were? That's acidosis. That's exactly total as acidosis symptoms right there. Right there. Inflammation, dry eyes, dry mouth. That's inflammation of the organs. Like the guy this morning, he could feel his internal organs burning up, Drew. Acid. Acids. And I said crusty eyes, lymphatics. Lymphatics, that's mucus. Mm -hmm. You know, granulated eyelids. I lived with them when I was a milk drinker. I didn't know all this crusty eye stuff, and every once in a while I would get a uh, sty in the eye, and I'm going, you know, I'm thinking that's a natural thing. Yeah. Nope, milk drinking. Milk drinking totally went away when I got rid of that because I detox, you know. What happened to the motto, milk does the body good? Does the body good? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs>
I need to get me a little white. Well, mine's almost white. Well, it's totally white, yes. I do not go to the restroom every day. That's not good. Uh, I feel I may not be eating enough. I have a smoothie for breakfast or I make a big glass of fresh juice, eat fruit and salad for lunch with shredded chicken or plain salad for dinner. I have always had trouble with constipation growing up dark. Uh, uh, drank a lot of milk, of course, pastas and flour products. Well, you just answered your own question. Now, listen. You got to hit up in the fruit levels. You got to not play down in the chicken levels and the vegetable levels because you're in. You're going to get yourself into serious trouble here, man. It's you, nobody's helped to guide you out of this, and it's been a long time. And acids just don't sit there looking pretty and burn. They damage. And so, you know, it's first inflammation and then it's cell damage. And that's your detached retinas, that's your, that's your MACDs, and then, man, you don't want to go there at all. You'll lose your gums, you'll lose your teeth, you'll so you suck your calcium out, you're, you're packing cholesterol already because of that. That's what, that's what it is. And take every little bit of a cataract seriously. Seriously. <laughs> you know, that really stark stuff. Now, you missed, said something interesting that you had constipation like this. Generally, when you see that, you see weak adrenal glands, low neurotransmitters, and therefore the kidneys are backed up, and therefore the lymph system is backed up, and this guy is backed up head to toe. But you would be, because this is a systemic flood. What we recommend I start? Go on the 14-week program. If you want me to write you a protocol, do it. Get on a fruit diet. Now you're already acclimated to that. Take it another step higher. Ditch the meat, get some vegetables, and get up there on a high fruit diet. Get on, put yourself on a great fast because you're getting yourself in trouble here. You don't listen to you, these medical doctors. Or you're going to call back one day and go, whoops, screwed up. And you're a 57-year-old female. This is a female, Mexican-American, 130 pounds. I bet she's a cutie. You know, Mexican American, they're beautiful people, you know? So this is a beautiful woman that's got serious problems, yeah. honey. You gotta fix this. And uh, if you've got kids, you wanna think about the same type of lymphatic problem in them. But you can fix this up and you wanna do this very seriously. Get on our first kit, start that, get on your fruit diets and really clean yourself out. And get your sinus to detox, you gotta hydrate all this. And especially your eyes because you lose those, they're not good. And you're young, I mean, when you're 57, I guess that's not too young, but that, if that's all, you know. So let's get that all fixed up so you don't start having these TIAs and stuff like that. That's not good. All right, this individual wanted me to show, I think one, I don't know, Jim B handed me this, wanted to show the difference between their eyes and their mother's eyes. And so let me lay this out to show you mother and daughter. You might have to do a little changing of that one because I'm going to have to do this. And I don't want to have any names here that can be seen because I don't know. I don't want to cause any trouble. Okay. All right. Now. Take a look. See, the fineness of the fibers are almost identical now. She definitely has some differences here with her lymphatic system. This is sulfur. If you look at this, uh, her mother's uh, front eye, look how orange that is. Remember Charles Goodyear when you think of sulfur. So her mother didn't pass her a lot of sulfur. She does have her sulfur in her bowels too. You see the sulfur in her. Now these are different pictures, different, different intensities, so it looks different. But you can see the sulfur around her bowels, sulfur around her bowels. Uh, you see the little twitch of cataract there, you know, that's all acidosis. But you can really, and you see the cholesterol, saying that's all cholesterol. Now she hasn't got that yet, but the mother's an older woman. But she has passed the, uh, the um, you can see the, the um, sulfur passed to her. You can see the nice genes passed to her too. The genes are almost identical. Great stuff. Little differences in the lymph system a little bit, uh, and the degree of sulfurs. But uh, not bad. It'd be interesting to see the dad's eyes and uh, see the differences between the dad's eyes. But uh, the daughter here is much better off uh, lymphatically than the mother. The mother's got a lot of lymphatic stuff interstitially and everywhere else in that area. Uh, as actually, the daughter has a little better bowels, so it's possible the father or the grandparents have, have pulled her away in some ways. But you can just see the eyes are almost identical. Almost identical. The degree of the sulfur is different, of course, but it would be. It would be. Um, these are injected stuff. 
and the mom has maybe some iodine and some other stuff here, but uh, basically, uh, these are strong constitution people. Boy, I love to work with clients like that. The sad part of it is uh, the sulfurs. And again, that's gassy, bloaty stuff. And you, and this one, uh, this lady here might have high sulfur in her gut, and you know, why she's having digestive problems. Interesting to see the comparative analysis uh, between the two. But this is a, at a different level. Now, here's another thing to think about. When you start detoxing, it can actually pull the lymph, and actually, I can look worse for a while. I've seen that many times, too. Well, and well how my eyes looking worse? Because you're pulling up lymph interstitially, and you can see that. Mostly, you see it starting to fade away as you start to filter and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, thanks, Drew. I wanted to... Uh, I want to see the dad's eyes. I'd like to see the dad's eyes, too. I'm interested. Yeah. In I had the uh, grandmother, mother, and daughter in here. Mm -hmm. And uh, there was three generations, and we had their eyes. They're one of the, I can't remember their name, or I'd go back and look it up to show you the, the similarities of that. Because you have gene pools, you know, coming in, dad, mom, and then you got grandparents, probably the most donors. What was the time frame between? Uh, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know, to tell you the truth. Just look at that. Hmm. Oh, okay. Um, of the mother. Time frame between the two eyes? Five months. Five months? Yeah. Because I only have one picture of the daughter. Okay. But five months between Five them. months, yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know, sulfur's a glue, and I don't have any, I don't know what to say. And after, after the, um, the Charles Goodyear story, that freaked me right the hell out, that, that our pharmaceutical company would use a substance that hardens things in antibiotics. I mean, I just, I'm just, I, I freaked out about that. the same that. one with the tire? Same one with the tire. You know, and, and when you think about how hard it is to get out of the system, and then why Charles Goodyear used it, I mean, how it hardened, I, I just find this to be a, a crime of, of gigantic proportions of what it's done to people's digestive tracts, and this classy, bloaty, high, high, high fungal problems in them, all the toll that that's taken with all the uric acid levels and all this. It's just a, it, it's just, it's a nightmare of gigantic proportions, in my opinion. And for what reason? Right. You know, when you're sick, nature takes care of you. What we decided to do is rely on other people to take care of us instead of nature. We forgot. That's a treatment-based exactly. thinking. Exactly. You know? The treatment-based thinking. We got caught in it, and it probably started with, you know, some shamans and stuff, giving you some herbs, of course, and not taking it to the next level. I mean, going way, way back. You know? Thanks. Appreciate it. Good to be back from New York City. Yeah. It's cold up I'm there. I'm going back up there next week. You're going again? Next week? <laughs> Jeez. You're no, 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 no. Why are you? <laughs> no, no. You're not? I went to, I was in Buffalo, for anyone to know. My Buffalo. family Thanksgiving. Yeah. yeah. So all my Buffalo family that's listening. Hey, Buffalo family. Right. Watching. No, but I'm going to Manhattan, the Big Apple. And you're going to set up a healing center, right? Exactly. That's what I'm looking at. Yeah, you want to know that new I'm big sign they got. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Good. I like that, Drew. Make a visit. Yeah. Make a visit. Mono Island. Subject, Mono Island. Banana brand. I don't know. Hey there, Brian here. Hey, Brian. Uh, I am uh, soon taking stomach and bowel number two and was wondering if, if going on a mono fruit island, as far as banana island more specifically, would cause any complications. Shouldn't. I mean, you know what? You can only try things and experiment on yourself. You know, the thing is, some things can hurt you, but experiment on these things and see where you're at. Figuring it would defeat the purpose of mono fruit cleanse uh, due to the consumption of the herbs. Well, hmm, it's possible, but I'll tell you, each level, thanks, Drew, each level, you know, if you did, all right, so let's say you did a variety of fruits with the herbs, right? That's, that's good. That, most people can get everything cleaned up with that. But then mono, the fruit, that's more powerful still, even with the herbs. Then, if you got rid of the herbs and just monoed the fruit, can't say. Can't say, because uh, I would think the more power is with the power of the herbs and the fruit. But when you go mono fruit, pretty powerful. And there's no reason why one can't take a break from the herbs and spend a, mono, uh, a month or two on a mono fruit and play with that. Or just take one or two types of herbs, keep your bowels moving, or whatever you need to do. But it's all, you know, it's just the semantics, really. It's, it's just a matter of 
you know, you're already up at the top of the mountain, so it's just playing with that level and those levels like that. And it's up to you and how your body responds to you, Brian. I don't care. Have fun with that. I mean, it's all good stuff. And everything you guys learn, you're passing on to all of us, and we learn too. I love to learn new stuff from people, you know. It's just great. I just think that's what we're here to help each other, to help this planet and, and for you guys to get your, your lives back and your spirituality and have some fun while you're here instead of this gnarly stuff that's going on here. Yeah, but you have to empower yourself and learn, learn the rules of creation a little bit, what to do, what not to do, what road to walk down, be careful about the pitfalls and stuff like that, and then uh, enjoy the rest of your stay. For you young guys, you know you're the leader of the pack coming. You young, 15-year-olds, 20-year-olds, you guys are the leaders of the pack coming. So you're, you're put right in this mess to get yourselves well because you are going to be the leaders of the pack. And you're, you need to have that conscious experience and knowingness of what takes man down toward Hellville and what brings him to Wellville. And you guys are going to be the future in every way, shape, or form. I've been told this over and over, and I fought that for years. And finally, you guys, I get it. I mean, I understood it, but uh, I really get it. But, you know, play with that and have fun. I have never done a mono fruit diet along with a, an aggressive herbal program. I've never done that. When I go on mono uh, fruit, I just have to be on mono fruit. I don't want to take any herbs or anything else. I just love to be on that mono fruit focus. But well, that's just me, you know, and I've always wanted to do it, though. I've always wanted to put myself on an aggressive herbal program, but I've just... I've just never done it because I've been so dang gum busy and traveling and lecturing and, and, and seeing people that I just, I, I lost taking care of myself a little bit. It just happens when you do all that stuff. You don't know, travel to foreign countries and, you know, not speaking languages and it's just tough on you sometimes, stressful on you, you know, airports and stuff like that. FDA outlaws raw coconut water. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Hello, Jennifer. Hope you're doing well. Just wanted to share with you, as quickly as I found out, the FDA now seems to be wanting to ban the selling of raw coconut water and put out of business companies that sell coconut water that hasn't been pasteurized because it could contain a major safety risk to the U.S. public. You know, get prepared, all of you guys, because there is going to be a class action lawsuit. We are collecting evidence and those that have had serious problems with drugs and stuff, I want you to write in here with your stories and uh, uh, future FDA lawsuit, you can title that because we're going after them. You can't continue to have this kind of stuff and they will continue to take and destroy. That They're, they're narcissistic, they're out of control. They've hired a bunch of gorillas to come uh, with their gorilla suits and, uh, and, and uh, shut down businesses and things like that. So you know what? You can't ever overdo the people. I governments, uh, I hope this government learned that out there on that rancher, that we got militias and people willing to stand up and fight our own. So you got to understand that, that it's coming to that. And it doesn't have to. It doesn't have to. Man has to just simply wake up, get his head out of his ass, and wake up. Because nobody ever pasteurizes things. You have fear based with bacteria, insanity. It is culturing mediums. So learn the truth of, of health and what's causing all these people's problems, and then you won't be battling this because we're going to go to battle with the FDA, I'm going to already tell you. And I've got civil rights attorney. They've been violating First Amendment rights here for years. They've been through testimonials, so I've been gathering evidence, and we've got stacks of it, and not around where they can find it. And we're coming, and we're coming after the AMA with them. You just can't continue to do this stuff. We'll do it spiritually, you know. Nothing like a corrupt judicial system to go after corrupt feds. <laughs> but there we got our ways. Uh, it's sick stuff. Uh, it's sick stuff. What's in a danger to the U.S. is the FDA and the, and the tons of pharmaceuticals that have fatal events tied to them and the amount. And they say, well, only 3 to 5% fatal events. That's no big deal. Is it so? How if you had one person die, which is a fraction of a percent in the botanical world, it would set an uproar in the FDA, wouldn't it? Mm-hmm. 
So you see, that's all set up. These are all charlatans. These are people that are here to destroy the human race. Who knows if these are walk-ins, reptilians? Who knows what they are now? So it really, we have some serious stuff going on here. You know, I'm not the only one that feels that. There's a lot of, uh, you know, why is Deepak going up into some of these areas where these uh, communications are? You know, I'm just curious about some things. I am not a U.S. resident, but what on earth is going on with the U.S. government? They're crashing. Take a look at Obama, where they, they captured his, his eyes and, and did the shake shifters. And uh, boy, you just, uh, there's some serious stuff, guys. I don't know. I can only tell you, I'm, I'm just a spiritual dude here to, uh, to simplify everything and to get you guys to God consciousness and get yourself well. Plain and simple. But to do that, sometimes we go to battle. I'm not a Gandhi. I'm not a Gandhi, and Gandhi doesn't always work. You sometimes have to gain control of those that are at this level. And this government and this new election is going to change things because the Tea Party's coming, and I'm Tea Party. That means we know the truth about governments, the world banks, and everything else. And people are going to, Americans just are apathetic. A lot of them are on food stamps and welfare, and they love it. So we have serious problems. And then we arrest all the uh, people taking the different levels of drugs instead of helping them. I mean, we're, we're, we're messed up here in this country. They also might not stop there. Oh, no, they're not going to stop anywhere. That's what my point is. They don't stop until you stop them. So I'm just saying, be prepared. Now, it sounds a little wild coming out of a guy like me, but I can tell you I've been preparing this for a long time. Can't no longer allow this to happen in a world with so many beautiful beings and a world that can be at least halfway decent. You're always going to have good and bad, and, uh, and you're always going to have dualities, and you're always going to have that. And this level is going to offer you more serious problems because as you get out of the chemical levels, you're into more energetic levels. So it's a much different experience. But these low chemical levels, what a test, uh, could give a public reaction to this. My public reaction to this is let's all come together and file a class action against the FDA, those in America that's been hurt, died from pharmaceuticals, made by pharmaceuticals, uh, uh, other choices that the FDA has allowed. Well, I'm supposed to have a client here, and uh, I don't see him. So uh, my five-year... Uh, oh, my five-year grandson has been experiencing acid reflux for the last two to three years. Your five-year-old has been experiencing acid reflux for three years since he was two. And he does not eat vegetables well and eats a few fruits. Eats mostly chicken and small amounts of vegetables. What can heal his gut? How does this happen to such a young child? One word, one word, sweetheart, genetics. You know, and that's what I'm telling you, what's going on with the children. All you older people and your 30-year-olds, 40-year-olds with chronic bowels and stuff, think what your kids have got. And that's what we've done. We've passed, we've passed chronic a while back. We are into degenerative levels. So this is serious, serious, serious stuff here. Just because we have a huge modality that doesn't have a clue doesn't mean we don't. And we have to be the smart ones. Because we're here to be the smart ones. You have to have the spiritual people to keep life in balance. If not, you see what's happening? It's, it got to spiraling out of balance. And it's only you guys that can help me spiral it back into balance. And we got plenty of help. You have to be open to it. But they're there. They're all around us. And you just open your consciousness and you'll see your spiritual guides and your spiritual beings around you. They're all over the place. I'm here just as a way shower, you know. And I, I, I travel and do that. And this is all I do. Uh, I, so, here's the thing. He's five years old. He needs to be on fruit only. Coconut water, coconut milk, or and fruit. I do coconut water and fruit. Uh, that's soothing the gut and all this. You can do a little applesauce, homemade applesauce. Put some cinnamon in it to help with that. I tell you what, you're going to have to get some... Uh, some herbs down this young man. And I would do the pancreatic formula. Uh, I would also get the kidney and adrenal formula and the endocrine gland formula. And I would do by dosage, small, small amounts. I would do the liquids so you can do by drop, put them in grape juice so the, the young man can't taste them and, and get them down. And with a five-year-old, 
you can ask Jennifer, but I think she gave her five-year-old, you know, a quarter of a dropper full. But I, 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 you'd have to go by weight on my on my formulas. So I would look at that. I get ditch the meat and everything like that. You can't, yeah. And, and remember, don't mix your proteins with starches because that'll stop digestion right there anyway. And a compromised digestive tract genetically will even handle that worse. So that's something real important here that I think you've got to deal with here is uh, fix this young man's digestion. To do that, you want to give him easy to digest foods or you just cause more problems, more gas, more bloating, more crying, more pain in the stomach, and maybe even deterioration. And a five-year-old with this problem, he has serious digestive problems. And he might even have some hepatic things going on as well. You know, I've got a little iris camera that's handheld you can get down on the eye, but if you can anyway sneak a picture of that young man's eye, that might be of extreme benefit to you to see what's going on with your grandson. Uh, because this, you don't want to know what the AMA is doing to these kind of people. You know, you just don't, five years old, you're going to have serious troubles here. And so, you know, this, you got to fix this one. You know, so either pancreatic or pancreatic and liver gallbladder. So he just does something you have to fix up there, which means he probably has chronic bowels. And uh, so you want the fruits and the berries and the melons with him. That's delicious. Uh, my two-and-a-half-year-old, almost three-year-old grandson, he eats almost exclusively fruits now. Just refuses to eat anything else. But he's getting so strong that he can't even, it's hard to control him. I don't know what's going to go on here. It's just amazing. But uh, that's what I would do. If you want to fix this, this five-year-old grandson, I hope your, your daughter or your, your son gets that and will let you help them. Because if not, they're not going to have fun with this young man and uh, sad to see what this young man is going to have to go through. Not good. Nothing's good by that. And when you have to fix digestion, you go to easy to digest food, which is your fruits and your berries and your melons. And same thing, you give them little amounts. You can do applesauce, and apples are very easy to digest. They even inspire digestion. So, fresh applesauce, red delicious, four, they're on? Yes, yeah, she's calling in. Yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I'll finish up here and I'll be done. All right. Thanks, honey. So, I do some applesauce, a little cinnamon in there, and give it a little taste for him, you know. It'll help digestion, small amounts, you know, uh, inspire him to chew good and chew well, that sort of thing. And let's work this young man out of this because there's nowhere good that this can go. I have to go right now. I apologize, but uh, I was just trying to grab anyway. But I hope I was able to answer some of your questions. I know I've got stacks of your questions. And I apologize. I just kind of wanted to talk to you about life and, and yourselves and, you know, dig in and get, get it done. You know, just like once you did, get her done. You really want to get this done no matter why. And there's no other course. There's only one road to Wellville. There's some, there's some uh, side roads. Most of them have dead ends and uh, some roads circle back. So be careful. And we're always here to help you. I love you guys. Good work appreciate every one of you, and uh, so does the universe, I'll have to tell you. We love you. May the blessings be. Bye-bye, until next time.